And moving our focus to Meghalaya now, the situation in Meghalaya's Thura town is slowly limping back to its normalcy. The indefinite curfew which is on in West Garo Hills district is being relaxed from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. However, the night curfew is on. The curfew was clamped in the district after Friday's molestation incident, wherein a group of five laborers allegedly made an attempt to rape an 18-year-old, differently-abled girl in Wadanang locality of Thura. The incident has spread like wildfire with mischief mongers trying to take advantage of the situation which led to the killing of three innocent lives and cases of arson being reported from different parts of Thura. The district administration is keeping a tight vigil with peace meetings being held to quell fear and apprehensions. Our correspondent Biplav they reported saying that the situation is normal and efforts are being made to allay fears and apprehensions. Civil bodies have urged people not to indulge in any act of violence. The border security force has taken a number of proactive steps to contain law and order in Tura. The BSF has intensified patrolling along the international border, especially the communally sensitive pockets like Man in Assam along the interstate border. BSF is providing all possible assistance like shelter, food, security to approximately 250 members of the minority community who have taken refuge in the BSF campuses at Pahari Nagar and Danagri in Tura and at the BSF outpost of Gaswapara and Kilapara. The BSF is keeping a close watch on law and order in the Garo Hills and is prepared to tackle any contingency. Well, we will get more on this from our correspondent, which we are trying to get in touch with, Biplab Day, who has been keeping a track of the incident from Friday. Well, 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 we are not being able to get to Biplab on this issue, but it's a very, very sensitive issue to brief our audience that after the Friday smaller station incident, there was a widespread ruckus in uh, uh, Tura town where we saw that, you know, uh, some mischief mongers tried to take advantage of the situation and lynch a three to dead. And the, those uh, accused in the molestation case were also brutally beaten up by the locality people there and they are now l admitted in Guwahati Medical College and Hospital. Of course, the situation is slowly limping back to normalcy with curfew being relaxed from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, and of course, uh, the night curfew is still on and the peace meetings are being held to quell the fears and apprehensions which we see there in Garo Hills. Well, it's a very, very important story and because we have seen that it is uh, that, that part of the region in Garo Hills which borders around Assam and we have been seeing that a large number of uh, migrant laborers who are working there in Tura, Tura have been uh, um, evacuated from the town. Well, I think we have our correspondent Biplab Dev from Tura to give us more on this. Well, Biplab, what more you can add right now on this story where we are saying that the situation is limping back to normalcy? Well, uh, till, y till yesterday, everything, is just, everything was just about fine. Uh, however, last night there was an incident uh, in Nongal that's actually uh, Nongal Bibra, that's uh, the coal belt, which is uh, risen, given rise to new fears that there could be further violence. Eight people have been killed by the coins in, in the area, and they have, uh, and this has not been, not, not, gone, not gone down very well with the people around the, that place. But there, there be, huh? Well, people, we are just saying that, you know, rumors are coming in that five people killed there, this and that. So, with, I think basically there are some mischief mongers who are trying to, you know, uh, give an impression that it should take a communal turn. But we are hearing the DC, we spoke to the DC, in fact, you spoke to the Deputy Commissioner in Tura, Praveen Bakshi, and they are making an effort to quell the fears and apprehensions. So, how are you taking this issue and, you know, through our television channel, if uh, an appeals are being made to the people of Garo Hills? Uh, yes, sir. an appeal has been made by oh, actually all the DCs that we have in Garhwil to maintain peace. Even people from uh, within Mankachar and uh, Sing Hart Singhamari in Assam have cooperated with the with the administration. Uh, last uh, last evening, uh, Deputy uh, Deputy Commissioner Bakshi actually visited Mankachar. He paid an exclusive amount to one of the victims, and uh, he said that uh, the situation, the people were you know, hoping that uh, they would, he, they, he could provide uh, security for the people who worked in uh, Garo Hills. He said he's, he's trying his best to ensure that the administration take care, takes care of all these people who are migrant laborers from Assam and who work in the coal belts as well as in Tura. And uh, that's where they left it. Well, Biplab, do you, can you just add to me, like, all the migrant laborers who were working in Tura, are, have they all been evacuated to their respective uh, places or they are still being camping or are being sheltered in refuge camp? Because we have input that in BSF camps they are being sheltered. Uh, no, most, they have been moved from those places and they have gone back home. 
and uh, as of now, I would say about fifty of fifty about fifty of about two thousand people still remain in two. Rest, rest of all, the rest of them have all gone back home to various places in Assam. Well, Tura is a cosmopolitan town, a small town, a beautiful town there. And, you know, people have lived together, the tribal community and the non-tribal community for long. And this incident, it, it reminds to many people, which I have been trying to talk about, the 1987 violence, which was there in uh, Garo Hills. So at this moment, how the, uh, you know, community people different, whether it be the non-tribal, the minority community and the, you know, tribal community, which we call it the Garos, how they are reacting to this incident? Because whatever I'm trying to talk to the people, they're all saying that peace and tranquility has to return back in Garo Hills. Oh, absolutely. We've uh, 1987 was different. Now uh, the world has changed, and the, most of the people that we have here, I've spoken to all the NGOs who are working, you know, very cohesively with me in trying to uh, normalize the situation. They they have even been trying to uh, speak to people from out of uh, Tura or even in places uh, as far as uh, Singamari and all these places. And uh, just trying to quell any kind of rumors that can spread due to, uh, you know, due to rumors itself. So basically, we have, yes. Uh, so basically, you see that you know the mischief mongers are trying to take advantage because at people at large they are looking for peace, right? Yes, absolutely. We, 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 we these meetings have all all spoken only about peace, and uh, everybody is only looking forward to peace right now. Nobody really wants uh, another 87 in in Meghalaya or in Tura. Well, thank you, Biplav, for giving us all the update. And I think we also should make an appeal to our people, to our brothers and sisters in Garo Hills, that they have to abstain from violence. And yes, peace is the need of the hour in Garo Hills. And people are praying for peace.